हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई विल बी लॉन्चिंग अनदर प्लेलिस्ट ऑन हाउ टू क्रैक नोट जेस इंटरव्यूज बिकॉज राइट नाउ नोट जेस इज एन डिमांड पीपल आर हायरिंग नोट जेस डेव्स सो लाइक इफ यू ऑलरेडी नो द जॉब आस्कर फ्रेमवर्क एंड यू ऑलरेडी नो द नोट जेस दैन आई विल जस्ट एक्सप्लेन यू द स्ट्रैटी दैट हाउ कैन यू क्रैक द नोट जेस इंटरव्यूज what is the basic expectation from node js developer that these are the questions these are the set of concepts which you should already have so before going through the particular techno technically technology specific interview like if you are going through the node js or javascript then you must have the answer of all these questions which i am going to cover in the playlist so i will start with just a basics uh, of uh, basic questions which if you are already familiar with the node js then you will be e- easily be able to answer all those questions and which talks about your expertise in the node js so i know the what is the error first callback i mean you already know what is the callback in javascript so in in node js whenever we do a simple operation like uh, if i trying to read the data from some file and what i will be doing data equal to fs dot read file and here we pass the callback so this is the file i am reading and this is the callback i will be passing which specifies okay if uh, while reading the file if i got the error then we, I, i will just uh, stop there and i will return from there otherwise i will be just uh, reading the data so in on, in all the callbacks this is just a mechanism that you always do the error check first it's not like so in all the callbacks you should always if you are trying to write some operations to fetch the data from api read the file from obviously it will be some asynchronous operation so always do the error check first the error check means in the callback which we which is being returned always check for the error object if that is null okay we are fine we can go ahead and get the data but if error object is having some uh, object i mean that's not null then obviously we need to take care of that right so simple callback functions uh, how to write a callback simple callback function so i'm just writing a simple callback function what all different things we have so this is the callback function and we will just check if error is there then we will return we will just uh, throw the error first of all let's do that this error object otherwise we will uh, just do the console dot log okay so let's write uh, another function where we will be using this callback this is another function so function can return another callback functions so here i will be returning a callback from there and here i am passing null so this is the null proper null argument i am passing and this is just a string so whenever the, the this function is being called and it will be returning this callback then the first argument is null so the error check so whatever the error check we, which we are doing then it will get the null and it will process the data next instruction okay so we can make it further like uh, if you wanted to create an error object then you can just pass the new error object here so this is a standard javascript error object you can create here and now whenever you are calling this function because this callback function will be returning uh, two argument either first is a error object and then that another object is a string okay so this is how actually this this mechanism works 
and now you can call that function and you can pass the my callback function it's six o'clock So using it now, I'm calling this function and it is accepting uh, another function which is my callback function. So if it is checking if uh, first argument is error, obviously so this will going this is going to throw an error object because we are passing the error, we created an error object and we are passing it. Okay, the next basic question is uh, how can you avoid a callback hell? So this is the very basic uh, question which you should be aware of. Because we, we might be doing a lot of asynchronous operation here like uh, consider uh, you might be reading another file. This is just an example. I know you will not uh, do that in your programming practice. So here actually I am doing a two different operations then I am doing if error then same type kind of check. So error if that is done now you got the data you might be firing some HTTP call from here and writing the same kind of uh, nested callback stuff so you, you should not you should avoid this kind of stuff instead of this you should use the promises because you are actually nesting the, the second operation is totally dependent on the first operation and if any one of them stuck then it's a complete loop uh, chain is totally stuck what are the promises? Uh, so promises is actually the, the important point. So in the JavaScript world, to deal with the asynchronous operation, we have three things. First, we have a callback. Then we've thought about let's uh, remove this callback hell and try to use the promises. Then we start using async await. So there are different ways of uh, doing it. In the core JavaScript, we already have the simple timeout operation. Set timeout which accepts a function, which is the first argument and second argument is the time. So callback, we talked about the so promises. Uh, in ES6, you can create your core promises. Uh, let's use ES6. Where you can create a promise object and the promise object you need to pass a function having uh, reject and resolve this, so this is actually executor of uh, the promise object where we have and here you will define that when you wanted to resolve a promise Or reject a promise. So here you can define your own condition. Okay, if data is coming like that, then I will be resolving the promise. If data is coming like that, then I will be rejecting the promise. Okay. Uh, that's okay. So npm. What is npm? Uh, so the npm is not a short topic. You should have a end-to-end -end knowledge of how to manage the dependency in the npm, how the npm caching is happening, what is a package log.json, what is the difference between yarn and npm package manager because yarn is doing a lot of, uh, I mean yarn is little bit faster than uh, uh, the npm that is what I experienced while, uh, while having the yarn as a package manager I can get the, the dependency downloaded faster than npm npm 5.0 also using the caching and getting it more faster okay your favorite HTTP framework i mean if you wanted to write a rest apis in node.js then what you should choose either happy koa express loopback so there are a lot of uh, frameworks which you can choose 